Hello, welcome back to Life is Strange, uh, a guide. Uh, what I do in this series is I uh, I uh, pick all the most popular options that everyone um, chooses from this ch like this choices menu here. So um, let's get on with episode four, the dark room. Oh, also be finding all the previously on Life episode. is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Choose, choose wisely. Already, after playing this with the most popular choices, I realized that the most popular choices are clearly not the best. I probably will do a series, maybe not a series, maybe, um, yeah, well, a series, maybe an episode or a couple of episodes, um, uh, talking about what the best choices possibly are in this, um, and, um, We'll see at the end of the next episode if I can if I can possibly do all the endings. That would be pretty cool if it's possible to um because obviously as soon as there's more than one ending, this games usually are like that. This is a big old dead whale. As usual, I just uh, skip past all the um, looking at everything and um, try and get through the conversations as quickly as possible. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. 
It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably <laughs> easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. Mm-hmm. Yep, let's You're get to some survivor, conversation. Boy. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Hmm, everything's different. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? Yes. It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. <sighs> yeah, you, you're definitely gonna have to go kill her dad. Back in time and just let her dad die. It's a ridiculously high cliff that uh, lighthouse is up on. It's very high up. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. 
You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Sure. Alright, we get to walk around again. There's some stuff you can look at. All very, very interesting. Where was the water? The water was here. Get really... Drink up, buttercup. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Mm -hmm. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here. Watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour. Even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean... Are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. Dr. Bill? And I hope they still get busy, too. I you think Joyce and Phil? William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Uh, let's uh, get Blade Runner. Uh, here's the DVD. And it actually sounds like the beginning of Blade Runner.
I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> right. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Uh, yep. There we go. There. Yet again, there's plenty of stuff to look at, but I'm not going to do that. I... Um, I could talk to the father. I'm also not going to do that. I'm going to go straight upstairs and get the morphine. Oh, we can have a look at these though. Yeah, it's so weird. You're like friends with Maxine, uh, friends with uh, Victoria now. And then a whole bunch of stuff. You can read this if you like. Just pause the video. Yeah, you're like friends with Nathan too. And she's throwing toilet paper at you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, house is a little different. You were at the back garden as well. Um, anyway, let's go get the morphine. Just quickly have a look at Chloe's room. bit different. Anyway, bathroom. As usual, it's always a pain to get this light switch on. There we go. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Um, I think it's in this cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yep. That's what you're doing. I'll leave the light on. Oh, uh, also, uh... Chloe's mom's in, in the bedroom upstairs. You can talk to her if you like as well. Yeah, just uh, none of it's that important. Uh, if you look at this. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. You get a conversation point for William there. All right. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. 
I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I'm gonna take the photo album. Mm hmm. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. Oh, look how blurry we are. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. They're actually pretty good at um, facial expressions here. So, we have a choice. Accept, refuse, I don't know. I don't know. We'll give you the choices of accept and refuse again. And if we go by the choices that other people made, 56% of people accepted the request and 44% refused. So we are going to accept the request. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around.
sooner than you think. Well, good thing you can time travel. Don't have to deal with the repercussions of killing your friend. Focus on the photograph. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? Ah, uh, burning the photograph. Can't make this decision again. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Photos going back to normal now. New falls from last time, eh? Who, who took that photograph? Oh, well, it's them taking the board from the back garden up into the bedroom. I wonder whatever for. It's Amanda Palmer. Well. So they've been in uh, investigating all the different stuff that's going on. Um, Chloe, you're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? 
I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Need to get up. All right. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I might as well uh, go get a couple of photographs while I'm here, or at least one photograph. There we go. Because I think it's actually a pretty good time to. I'm lost in all this shit. Yeah. Okay, Chloe. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good time to end the episode here. Um, so if you like this series or you like this episode, press please press the like button. If you uh, have anything to say, please leave a comment. Um, if you're new here, you like these videos, please subscribe to if you want to. Um, anyway, till next time, goodbye. Mm -hmm.